Welcome everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and today we have more rag bags. They have been dropping them like crazy. So you know I buy them like crazy. We have had some good times in these rag bags. If you don't know what a rag bag is or what this series is about, is we buy these bags full of mostly t-shirts from thrift stores uh, that are around us that sell them uh, sort of in bulk and uh, we buy them and see what's in them. Hopefully finding some vintage. And right off the bat, we have a bootleg center check. It's on a Delta tag, uh, Nike T. Uh, so yeah, definitely bootleg. This, would, this should have been a Nike logo if it was real, but it does have a nice cool, like uh, rip off Nike uh, little swoosh there. So that is a good sign that there may be other older clothes in here. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Ah, this is a... Okay. Fake me out. This is a modern Space Jam tee. One that they, you know, have tried to make look old. Um, man, that psyched me out for just a second. Uh, still a cool tee, but, like, man, if that was actually an OG... What we got? What the heck? Look at, like, a... Oh, that's cool. Little Columbia kids like snow bibs. It's actually not bad right here. It's a pretty good toddler. That's actually a cool piece because what I said, what the heck? Some pants, some weird, weird pants. Um, even whether I sell it or not, like I've got a toddler and they could fit in that if it starts snowing. So that's cool. We got US Polo Association, but bunch of junk. Um, interesting bag so far. Normally don't see like ski gear in these bags. Um, obviously, you know, that doesn't really work well as a rag. Some older Lucky Brand, Main USA. This is vintage Lucky Brand. I don't know. I've never tried to sell vintage Lucky Brand. They were popular in the 90s. Oh, we have a Jesus tea, but it's ripped, unfortunately. A breadcrumb and fish, fish, the Abercrombie ripoff. 2001, big old hole, lots of holes actually. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Probably, probably just get rid of it because it's pretty jacked up. But uh, I remember that T-shirt from youth group way back in the day. Uh, we have a looks like a modern. Uh, South Park T, freaking epic. Looks like yeah, I think it's modern. I don't see a tag on it, but some other shredded tees. Uh, we have two bags today, for what it's worth. Uh, looks like some young girl cutting up all her clothes to make them crop tops for the summer. Uh, we've got a pretty eclectic mix of somewhat older clothes and somewhat newer clothes in here. Uh, uh, let's go, come on. These bags, the bags from these for this, for, from this particular thrift store actually recently um, were full of like, well not full, but had several like old movie promo tees, Simply Southern. Um, and of course you guys helped me out uh, because I did not realize that the uh, the Twilight tea promo tea was worth like a uh, hundred or more dollars so that's pretty freaking cool thank you guys so much appreciate that um, I don't know everything that's for sure if, you ever, if I ever gave you the impression that I knew everything about vintage I was completely dead wrong there's still so much about it that I am unaware of we got a no boundaries like cool vest like if you go if you're if you're like a hardcore biker but you know only shop at walmart um but yeah i don't know everything there's a lot i don't know i'm constantly learning um you guys have been asking for the champion video a champ uh, how to identify vintage champion one of the reasons i haven't been able to give it to you is i'm still trying to like like sort things out enough to where I'm getting you guys good information and not just speculation or, or false information. So, oh, what was this? 
on the older jerseys tag. See some color on the other side. It's dirty. Uh, what the? Is it single stitch? No, it's double stitch. But it's got ski. Does anyone know what that is? Is it a drink? Is it? I mean, it's pretty uh, painted up tea. Can you, someone use it for a painting t-shirt? Looks cool. I don't. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a drink or a snack that I'm unaware of. Snack teas were hot for a minute. I'm not sure if they still are popping off like they were for a while, but we've got USA Nike tea. All right, come on. We're a little past halfway on this. Oh, and we've got a bunch of bunch of towels, which is going to suck out a lot of the space. These are actually closer to the end. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Well, what the heck is this? Big old shirt. It says medium, but that's a big medium. Um, got an Adidas tee. It's funny because, you know, <laughs> I know where like the thrift store that i get these from is also a local thrift store so i have friends that donate to that thrift store and it's funny because i sometimes think i've definitely seen some of these shirts on them so it's like hey just buying your old junky t-shirts all right second bag come on let's get more than just a bootleg we've got a corona extra tea i don't think it's vintage i don't these are not typically very old. Oh, we got some Harley. Harley Davidson. It's pretty ratty, but it looks pretty good. The 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 fade on it's pretty pretty cool looking actually. It is made in USA, so we're probably vintage Harley T. We're on the board with vintage Harley T. You know we love vintage Harley T's. We got a tap out T. Some blank white tea. We got a Zoo York tea. I'm not sure what that is. What is this right here? We're an older Gildan tag. We got Moab Distress Tea 2001. Fits within the vintage window. Antidote Archaeology. That's kind of an interesting t shirt. We got West Plains Choir. We've got we got we got some older looking tees, like just from the wear, but looks like most of them actually aren't all that old when they actually look at it. Hey, Jack on Uncle Side. All right, uh, no nothing. Friday night Bobcats. Nope. What is this? They like an all over print tee. Whoa! Wait a minute. We got Gildan. Oh, this is sick. Look at this, guys. It's like an equestrian all over art print tee, single stitch on the Gildan heavyweight. That is nice. Vintage 1992. This is a dope tee, everybody. Dope tee right here. We have vintage. <clears throat> That's a good tee. That's probably like. Um, I bet I can get $30 more or plus for that tee. So that covers the cost of our bags, plus a little bit of profit on top, plus you know a couple other things that we got in there. But it's a good sign that there are vintage t-shirts in here, so maybe somebody donated their vintage, or their older clothes and had some cool tees. So hopefully, as we continue to dig through here, we will find a couple more, a lot more maybe. Um, sometimes all you get is one. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's just the way it is. Um, if you're hearing some like, that's why, if you're hearing some like rain noises, that's because it is currently raining off and on in our area. So, uh, we have just some old baseball tees, not old, like vintage, but old as in like ratty. 
this, this, whoever, this same like hole in the side is very common on all of these t-shirts that I'm finding. Um, so we got some towels, Pikes Peak, cutting their t-shirts, sleeves off. I don't know about where you guys live, but where I live, it's like really popular to. Now this is a vintage. Uh, I think it's vintage Calvin Klein crop top. Uh, yeah, this is vintage Calvin Klein. This is 01, so barely vintage, but yeah. All right, coming down to the end here. Hopefully, there's at least one more decent quality vintage tea a decent value we'll go over a little bit of a review of the t-shirts here in a minute I'm not seeing much what's this nope some restaurant tea nope 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 all right come on last tea let's give me some last t-shirt magic Got some tie dye, but local, like some local tie dye. Nothing. This is a cool, oh, this is a pretty dope tee. Oh, so that's HL Miller Gold Men USA Vintage. Vintage single stitch. Super duper ratty. In fact, it's got like safety pins holding this thing together. This is pretty wild. It's a really great looking really the fabric is bizarre uh, we're gonna hold on to it because it's cool it looks cool and uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to sell it in that condition but it still looks pretty dope we got a Harlem Globetrotter 2017 all right last t-shirt and it looks vintage it is vintage on the best fruit of the loom physical education is not for loafers Got holes, single stitch holes everywhere. Vintage for sure. So let's look at a few of the things that we got that were vintage uh, and probably and at least worth pulling on to and at least investigating. We have the Nike bootleg. We have the Harley T Memphis. We have this Moab T that's distressed. We have that uh, super ratty. Uh, tie-dye we have the all-over print equestrian shirt which is probably the hit of the bag we have this mystery ski t-shirt we have the vintage lucky brand t-shirt which we're not sure what we're gonna do with whether or not we're gonna try it out and then we have the last tee of the group which was that physical education is not for loafers that were the bags thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one peace